up kids? Wicked here with another Hardcore with a G Let's Play. Today we're going to play an RPG Maker horror game called Bella's Mansion. Um, this game is pretty new. I think it just came out a couple days ago. Uh, it was made in RPG Maker 03, uh, which is an older engine, but it is the one that was used to make Eve, which is one of the best. Uh, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, from what I understand, it's heavily inspired by the Resident Evil games. Um, so I'm imagining that there's going to be plenty of puzzles and monsters and whatnot throughout the game. I don't know how long it is, but I guess we'll find out. Um, but it looked really interesting. Um, I guess you play as Bella, as you might have guessed, and you're exploring a creepy mansion, as you also might have guessed. Um, but I don't know too much about it other than that. I know it has some interesting mechanics to it from the screenshots, but I don't know how they're going to play out yet. We'll see. Um, but what caught my attention, actually, is... This title screen, I have to say, it looks very familiar and nostalgic to me. It actually reminds me a lot of the Ghosts and Goblins uh, title screen from the NES. Um, and that is, even though it's about 30 years old now, I think, uh, it's one of my favorite horror style games. Probably my favorite. Um, in fact, one of my earliest memories that I have is watching my parents play it. Because uh, they had an NES when I was growing up. And I remember watching them play it. And to this day, even though I'm 27 years old, the game still creeps me out. Um, the intro sequence when Lucifer comes and takes uh, Guinevere away, that music that plays, it still causes a visceral reaction. I still get freaked out and tense up every time I hear it. So like, the game obviously traumatized me in some way, but I love it. And as soon as I saw this title screen, it just made me think of that. So hopefully it's not as creepy to me as that. I guess we'll find out. Hopefully there's no red devils. I mean, if you guys have played Ghosts and Goblins, you know what I mean. If there's any red devils in this game, we're going to just discontinue the series. But... I'm excited to see what the game does have. So without further ado, we're going to get going. I am going to play with the keyboard this time since I've been having issues with the gamepad. Um, so hopefully you don't hear any computer clicking. I'll work. I'll do my best. If I get scared, it might, you know. This game contains images of horror, violence, and gore. Good. Glad to know. Notice, this game contains large maps and numerous gameplay elements. It may run poorly or not at all on weaker systems. Uh-oh, okay. Hopefully my system is not weak. It is brand new. Please select the diff- Ooh, a difficulty mode. The difficulty mode you select will affect various game gameplay elements, so choose wisely. What's the, ooh, what's the code for? Do, do, do. We'll do normal. A standard game for average players. Well, I'm anything but average, but okay. Average monsters, it says. So there are monsters. Play this mode. Yes. Select the game over screen type. I don't know what that means. B. Why not, right? Bella, wait. You're just upset. Oh, you want me to wait so you can keep being an asshole to me? Well, we get right into it, don't we? Forget it. Bella, wait. Where are you going? Away from you, that's where. <laughs> what a comeback. Bella, wait, you can't go. You're not going to the woods, are you? It sounds like it's raining. So what if I am? What's it matter to you, you bastard? Jeez, this is quite a heated fight. No, Bella, you're insane. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Is it? <laughs> I don't care. Anywhere is better than here with you. You're going to regret those words, I have a feeling. All right, we're in the woods. Bulldozer Studios proudly presents. Dun, 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 from the creators of Legend of the Battle Gamers. Based off Eve, Madfather, and Misao, my favorites. Featuring music, oh, music from Resident Evil, Flashback, and something else. Sprites used, okay, made Keras and paint and spiders resource. Engine provided by Vigs, Vizdboard. I know it uses 03. I, I don't know what. It was provided by somebody, I guess. Bella's Mansion. Wonder what it's about. Huh. I'm so funny. All right. Can we play now? It is raining cats and dogs. Why does he have to be such an asshole? It's just not fair. Oh, did he break up with your BF? Problems with the bay. Huh? Where am I? I don't know, girl. Can we look around, please? Oh, no. Don't tell me I'm in the middle of the woods. Well, it sure looks like it, Bella. 
I'm assuming this is Bella. Oh, it's so cold out here. I'm going to have to find shelter. I'm going to freeze out here. All right. Oh, wow. We, are, we could freeze. There's a temperature gauge. The text is too faded to read. Okay, whatever. Uh, there's a condition. I don't know if that's my health. Um, okay, I don't have a menu that I can tell. No keys, no what looks like CDs. Do not enter. I have no choice. Hmm? I wonder where this goes. Huh, let's find out. Well, as long as it gets me out of this rain, I don't care. Last, okay. Oh my, this place is beautiful. And at least it's out of that crazy rain. Is this like a field in a cave? Hmm, maybe I should take a look around. I'm trying to, Bella. Ahead, the Bolvoda, ugh, what an ugly name, Bolvoda Mansion. Who would be crazy enough to build a mansion inside a cave? That's what I'm saying. All right. Oh, I can't walk on the flowers, guys. These are flower steel magnolias. At least she runs. Damn it. Oh, what's this? The pond of evil. No swimming. Okay. Anything on this side? I'm assuming up is where I gotta go. The pond of evil. Okay, I don't think there's anything this way. I hope there's not. Man, my, okay, my temperature is going down. I better move, I guess. Uh, a castle. Do you have something to say, Bella? Okay. Whoa. <sighs> okay, we get it. It's big. I'm just excited to play. That's the mansion? It looks more like a palace than anything. How did they manage to fit that thing in here? Well, you know, you got money, you make it happen, I guess. Well, as long as it's warm inside and out of the rain, I don't care. Bella, you don't care about anything. Wow, this is amazing. But I still wonder why it's in the middle of the forest inside a dark cave. Hmm, maybe the owner doesn't just want anyone to stumble upon it, like we're doing right now. I'm gonna turn it down just a bit. It is kind of weird that they just left the front door open, though. Yeah, I guess that is weird. Hmm, maybe I better try and find whoever owns this place. I could be stuck here for a while. Or I could just go home. Ugh, why do I have such a bad feeling about this? Because it's a horror game. A note. It's a text document. Will you read it? Sure. Key locks. A key lock is a very special locking system. It uses locking panels and special keystones to lock doors, chests, and pretty much anything that could be outfitted with a locking panel. Key locks are much more effective than standard locks and keys. Already, they're in use all over the world and beyond. I like that. Cool. What technology? There is currently no way to pick a key lock open without the keystone. So open a key lock. Oh, so once a key lock is in place, it is impossible to open without the stone. At their current rate of sale, the music loop's kind of weird. At their current way to sales, uh, key locks are likely to replace standard locks and keys in, a use, in, a, in use in approximately 10 years. Okay. Can I pick up wood? Can I pick up the barrel? Can I do anything? Door. It's locked. A small key lock is under the key doorknob. Okay. Books. Oh, this one looks different. Nothing? Okay. Can't interact with a lot in this game. So far, at least. Da, 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 da. Run, Bella, run! We're not gonna go up yet. Go see if there's anything over here. Oh, another door. Is this locked, too? Whoops. Oh, it's not. It is open. There's a text document here. Will you read it? Sure. Notice for new guests. Is that me? As it turns out, many new guests of the state have been arriving here to this mansion by order of Lord Jared Bolvoda. What a name. It's funny, it's such like a medieval last name, like an almost Transylvanian last name, and then his first name is Jared. Uh, as a guest of the state, we welcome you to this glorious project. We hope your stay in this mansion will be filled with fun and excitement. Ooh, fun and excitement. Before you begin actively assisting in the project, there are some basic things to know. Firstly, as a guest of the state, you are only allowed to enter rooms that have red key locks. 
Green, yellow, and blue are off limits. Okay. Please do not ask us why. We reserve the right to withhold information about these areas and their contents. That's always good. Secondly, specific areas require supervision by our security staff who are on call 24 seven to provide you with timely and safe transport between locations. Thirdly, any attempt to steal or compromise or, or compromise any property within this mansion will result in termination of your status as guests of the state and will result in your disappearance. Okay. Lord Jared Bovoda reserves the right to remove anybody from the mansion at any time. Whether or not that person also disappears from the face of the earth is up to him. Great. Anyway, thank you for reading. We will write back to you tomorrow to see how things are going. Until then, have a nice day. The date, October 21st, 2015, is written in big red text under this paragraph. Okay, 1021, I can remember that. Huh? Something's sitting on the table under the message. It's a small key. Will you take it? Sure. Small keys are required to open certain doors and objects. Some doors may require more than one key to open. Keep an eye on your small key counter in the upper left, next to your CDR counter. Got it. Man, I'm still freezing to death in here, by the way. Whoa, some herbs are growing here. Okay, it didn't do anything. What's this? Oh, it's a computer. I could use save my progress using a CDR. Um, what's this first? You, oh, you found CDRs. Okay. Keep an eye on your CDR counter. So I can only save a certain number of times, huh? We will save it since we just got here. Oh, man. That's going to be rough on me. I'm an oversaver. What about the teddy bear? Nothing? Not much to interact with, huh? Sorry. I think my dog is talking in the back. Man, I am freezing. I'm a little worried about the whole temperature issue here. Can I go in here? It's locked. A red key lock is under the doorknob. Oh, you know what? I have a key. Let's go down here first. How do I raise my temperature? Is there like a fireplace or something? It's locked. A small key lock. Will you use the key? Sure. Okay, we'll go in. Um, okay. Oh, there's a fire. I wonder if, um... It's a heater. I get that. Because I'm really cold. Hud okay, huddling close to it, you feel the cold slowly leave your body. Oh, that feels so much better. It's nice. It's so nice to huddle close to something warm after being in the cold for so long. Oh, there. Okay, it went up. Phew, I feel so much better. Okay. Alright, time to get going. Wait a minute, what's this? Oh, there's a small key. Will you take it? Yes. As this mansion is located inside a dark, spooky cave, it's close to winter time, it's dark outside, and it's raining like crazy. Of course, the mansion is going to be cold. Despite how warm these heaters might be, their warmth doesn't reach all over the mansion. You'll need to pay attention to Bella's current body temperature. I hate, oh, I hate stuff like that. Uh, the meter in the upper right corner of the screen shows how warm Bella is. If her body temp runs out, she will begin to rapidly lose life force. Life force. Five points every 30 seconds. The farther away from a heater room Bella is, the faster her temp will decrease. Body temp will not decrease inside heater rooms and safe rooms. Okay. I'm assuming that first room I was in was a safe room. Let's see if there's anything in here. Did she just grab a key out, out of the fire? Oh, a text document. Will you read it? Yes. Project journal number one. Well, it's day one here in this mansion. I'm actually kind of eager to see where this project goes. They said I was a guest of the state, whatever that means, and that I could be part of the project that would help shape the future of the world. Personally, I had my doubts about the project at first, especially when I learned where it would be taking place at, a mansion in the middle of a cave, of all things. Also, the rules and regulations kind of don't make sense to me. What did they mean by making people disappear off the face of the earth? Listen, if you don't know what that means, you probably shouldn't have taken this project. Read the small print. I can't see how they can manage that, unless they're government, and they manage to make people vanish every day. <laughs> okay. Well, as long as I'm on my guard, I think I'll be fine. These people don't seem dangerous, at least for the moment. My main concern is Melody. She's always been rather shy around elected officials, or people who are such, but it's like, uh, but it's like she's lost her voice as of late, Melody. Hopefully it won't be a huge issue later on in the project. I really want her to open up and speak to these people more, mostly for her sake, as well as my own. Oh, the researchers need me. I better get a move on. Cheers, Kyle. 
All right, Kyle. Um, and from what I read, you do have to investigate everything. There are like shinies, but it sounds like you really gotta look at everything. So I'm not trying to waste time here. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here. Um, I wanna save it, but I'm gonna have to watch my saves, which anything like that really makes me nervous. Okay, I think that's it in here. Let me check that plant. Why not? No. Okay. So let's remember this room has a fire in it. Anything? Anything? Well, this is fun. No, <laughs> I am enjoying this so far. I like the way it looks. The uh, atmosphere is pretty good. It's locked. A blue key lock is under the doorknob. Okay. Blue. Should I go back and like um, see what was up past all those stuff? Whoa. The music looping is actually freaking me out. Okay. Let's just see what this is. Can I go this way? No. It's locked. There are two small key locks here. It must require two to open it. Okay. Two on that one. It's locked. A green key lock is under the door. I'm really bad at remembering where keys and stuff are or what I need for that stuff, so hopefully we do okay. It's locked. A small key lock is under the door now. We'll use a small key. Yes, but I'm going to look and see um, what's back here first. I would like to do that. Just to be sure, I like to try to keep as best of a, or as good as a, like, mental map as possible. I really hope there's not something in all these bookshelves, because that will piss me off. Okay, how about these pots, though? This one was locked, right? It's locked. A red key lock is under the doorknob. Oh, wait, no. So that was red. It says I'm allowed to go in red. It's locked. A green key lock. Okay, that one's green. I'm just intrigued. These are all bookshelves except this one looks different too. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, okay. Um, a green key lock is under that door. How am I gonna, if I get a green key lock, how do I know which one to go in first? Unless a green key lock opens all of them. All right, off we go. I'm freaking out about my temperature, so I am gonna heat up again real quick. Okay, so there it goes. Cause I don't know, I don't know how like few and far between these things are, or how quickly it goes down. I mean, I get that it goes down quicker. Did I try and go in here? Yeah, I did. It's locked. Oh yeah, I, I unlocked this one. Um, I know it. It's. Ugh. I know it's harder as you um ooh an axe it's much too heavy to pick up that's too bad now i know um of course i'm gonna get cold ooh, what's that uh, i'm gonna get colder as i go away from the fire but you found a cdr will you take it or two of them yeah i will there's a diamond shaped jewel here will you take it there's really no way to check my inventory, huh? Like, is it just a red jewel is all I need to remember? Why can't I pick up that axe? That kind of makes me nervous. All right, a kitchen. Anything? Fill with some green liquid. It looks very thick. Drinking it probably wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, I won't drink it. Same thing. It's bolted shut. You need a crowbar to pry it open. The microwave or the cabinet? How do you... Uh, more green liquid. What's this? 
A key shaped stone with a red gem sitting here. Will you take it? Yes. Hmm, I wonder what this is for. Come to think of it, why haven't I found the owner of this place yet? Hmm, maybe he's in another room someplace. Ooh. <laughs> that got me a little. Whoa, what the hell was that? Yeah, what broke, man? Fill with some green liquid, don't drink it. Okay. I think that's it. Any of this? Any of this? Any of this? Can I take a coat for staying warm? No. All right. What is that? <laughs> exactly. What, what is that thing? No. Oh, no, it's coming this way. I better move. No, no, no. I don't like chase music. I still can't get the axe? Yeah, that's bullshit. Whatever. Oh, God, there's more than one of them. I'm not a fan of this at all. Get me out of here. Oh my god, they're creepy. What were those? Zombies or whatever? Maybe that's the project? I don't know. <sighs> Phew, I got away somehow. Damn. Oh, this is crazy. Just what the hell is going on here anyway? These thi Those things were so bloody and they move so slowly. Almost like zombies. Yes. What should I do now? Should I leave or should I keep looking for the owner of this place? Are you going to give me a choice? No, you're not. Well, I'm not going to get anywhere standing here. I better get going. Yeah, let's get them out of here. What color was this one again? Blue. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember seeing any red. Except the one at the front, I think. Let's warm up. Why not? I'm just worried, like, at some point I'm going to go into a room that's super cold. It's going to drain it a lot faster. I think I would like to save it too. No, even though I know I have limited saves, I don't want to go back in there. Okay, let's go. This must be a safe room because the room is. Uh, let's look around here some more. Um, because of happy music and all that. Anything? 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 Nothing. Nothing. Nada. I think there's just the herbs. Okay, I think it's a never-ending supply. I hope. Okay. Oh, is that my life force? A hundred? What's ST? Stones? I do have... A, I have two red things. I don't remember. Um, anyway... I plan on making these episodes a little bit on the shorter side just so I could put them out more often for you guys. I figured that would be better. Um, so I'm actually going to call this episode good right here and then we'll pick up pretty soon here. So let me know if you guys are enjoying this game. I am going to leave a link in the description below if you guys want to try it out yourselves. Um, also if you liked the video please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next Hardcore with a G Let's Play.